Hey guys, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. And if you've watched our latest video, or if you watched Brian Barczyk's vlog, then you know that I just got back from Tinley not too long ago. So we thought we'd take a moment and show you what I brought home. Because I took some, sold some, and then I brought some home as well. The first thing I really want to show you, I'm really excited about this snake. It's a little big guy. Is our GHI male. GHI is one of those genes I didn't have. I really wanted to get my hands on. Well, look at that thing. Isn't that thing awesome? This was produced by Tall Grass Reptiles. They did. A, they do great work. I have a lot of their stuff. I really like those guys. And just look at that. It almost looks metallic. I love how reduced it is. I mean, some GHI to me is kind of hard to see. This one's not. The black is so black, and the color is just amazing. It's got a lot more melanin in it than some, and this thing just shut out. So this is what they're going to look like. Nice belly on it. So I'm really excited to put this to some Mojave. And I know by the time I do it, and like here's the thing about when I talk about the market and everything else. You know, you can get really excited, and I get excited, so I want to pair these with all kinds of stuff. But if you just think only about the money when you do this, and you look at that, and you see GHI Mojave's on the table, and they're selling for 500, 600 bucks and selling like hotcakes. And you go, man, I'm going to buy this GHI. I'm going to stick it to Mojave and I'm going to make $3,000 next year. Well, you're not because everybody else is buying a GHI and stick it to Mojave. So you got to do it because you like the way it looks. Because you're not going to get that same price that you saw on the table this year. And me, I'm okay with that. Like, I know that price is going to fall. I don't care. I'm going to put this GHI to a Mojave because... I think it's going to look awesome. Like, I love the way they look. And I've got some other plans for it as well. So it's not about the money. It's about making really cool snakes. Will I make money on it still? Yeah. I'm going to make a profit on the snake if it survives and is a pre is breeds. Then there's, there's profit to be had. But it's not those great big numbers that I was seeing this year. And I know that. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind when you're looking at snakes. Buy what you like and what you want to work with. I always say that. Some people don't listen to me, but buy what you like and buy what you want to work with. Not what you think is going to make you the most money because it's the market changes so much. But that one we bought off of a table. We also want an auction. And if you ever go to Tinley Park, man, you got to go to that charity auction. Uh, there's some amazing deals to be had. Plus, it's just a lot of fun. And you get to see some amazing people. It's pretty cool. So, what we picked up is we picked up kind of a mystery bag. Like... I bid on it, and I won the bid, and I really didn't know what was in this thing in a silent auction because you couldn't read the label because the label had been taped over, and you couldn't see because it was a bag. So I was kind of taking a shot in the dark. Well, one of the things I got that we're going to keep is this ghost here because camera guy Kurt, he's into the ghost stuff. He's working some ghost projects, and we kind of got a whole ghost package out of there. And look at that thing. Isn't that thing cool? And I like ghosts, so we're going to keep... Actually, we're not going to keep this one alive. We're keeping the other one. I'll tell you why here in a second. So we decided to let this ghost go. So this ghost is actually going to be for sale. It won't be for sale right away. I mean, if you want it, let me know. But I'm going to hold it for a bit just to make sure it gets, you know, three or four meals in it since I've had it and gets all the stress out. You know, we don't like to flip things right away. I like to keep them for a bit just to make sure they're healthy. So that's kind of what's going to happen here. But we will be parting with that one. Another snake we picked up would be this guy right here. And we've been back and forth on this one a little bit, whether or not we're going to part with it. It's kind of going to be up to Camera Guy Kurt, honestly. So if you want this snake, you need to kind of comment and say, Camera Guy Kurt, sell me that snake. I really want it. And what this is, is this is a lesser pastel het ghost. Yeah, that's what we that's what it said on the bag. And it looks like it's at least that really nice lesser pastel. I think you can kind of see the het ghost playing a role in there and cleaning that up. It looks like it kind of wants to bite me, but I'm not going to let it bite me. But anyway, so we got this. This is a little male. The other one I showed you was a female. And that's why we're debating on whether or not to keep it or not, because we got some other ghost stuff we're working. And I don't think Camera Guy Kurt has quite made up his mind if he's going to keep that or not. Have you, Camera Guy Kurt? No, I haven't yet. No, he has yet. He hates when I talk to him in the middle of filming. He's like, why is this jackass talking to me? I'm just trying to film. He drags me into stuff. And this is the one we're going to keep. This is another ghost female. She's a little bit bigger than the other ghost female. And the reason we're keeping her is because, honestly, I wouldn't really feel too right about selling this thing to anybody because she is a walking disaster. Uh, what I mean by that is this is, honestly, the meanest ball python 
I've ever had is actually being really well behaved today. But you almost have to like keep something for it to focus on. It bites at everything. It flies off the table if you set it down. Uh, I wouldn't move your hand any closer, Kurt. She'll pop the crap out of you. But she is nice and healthy. Good chunky body. And a good female ghost. She's a bigger of the two that we got. And she's, like I say, the meanest thing in the world. So that's just kind of her. And that's what she does. But so far today, she's seemed pretty calm. That's pretty good. This is the nicest she's ever been. Maybe she just doesn't like me, but she enjoys the camera. So anyway, guys, that's what we picked up at Tinley Park. If you've never been to Tinley and you get a chance, I'd say go. Usually the snake's trying to bite me through the uh, actual tub. She's just crazy for a small python. Just crazy. But uh, make sure and go sometime. It's one of those like meccas of American reptile shows. It's one, it's huge. Two, there's a lot of big names there, like people that I've watched on YouTube and things like that. You're going to see some crazy combos there that you won't see anywhere else. I know the uh, scaleless pastel, which we filmed in Florida, was also at Tinley Park. I saw a scaleless fire. That was pretty cool. Uh, I saw adult caiman lizards. That's pretty awesome. Obviously, we saw Brian Barczyk. Pretty cool to meet him. He kind of got us started doing this YouTube thing, so kind of nice to meet someone that you use for an inspiration as to what you're going to film. So it's just a really cool place and a really great environment. You know, and you got to love the charity auction. It actually goes to help the lobbyists who fight against reptile law so that we can keep doing stuff like this and protect our hobby. So uh, if you ever get a chance, go check out Pimley Park in Chicago. You'll have a blast. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.